and welcome to the third video of quarantine for me. Yes, I am having some fun with some videos. Uh, this will be the third one this week. Uh, so yeah, and it all started with uh, some lovely stuff from RVSN. Um, I was intending to do the whole house and their costume content. Um, if you didn't see the last video um, of the exterior of this, I will put a link here, I guess. Yes, I'll remember that. Anyways, um, I, yeah, I uh, started building this. I was really enjoying building the outside and uh, did a separate video of that so it'd be nice and short. And then I was like, yeah, I'm going to try and do this whole house in their custom content because I thought I had enough stuff. Turns out, um, even though the piece of CC that started this, which is this incredible um, dog bath, which I have a screenshot of at the end of the video, as well as you'll see me place it here in a minute, um, they, this particular creator does not have a bathroom set. I even, oh my God, sorry, my cat is knocking stuff over next to me because she's a jerk. Yeah, you Harley. Oh, I was gonna put pictures of her in here. Hold yep, I just stopped in the middle of a sentence to put a picture of my cat right there, and I'm gonna put another one in in a second too. Um, but it also gave me a chance to kick her out of the room because she was playing with an empty box, and uh, yeah, and my kine uh, kinesthesiology foot roller ball thing. I don't know how to describe it. It just it's it helps with my uh, plantar fasciitis, so that's fun. Um, but yeah, so. We're having fun, let me tell you. Uh, she's actually really enjoying the whole us being home more often thing, because, uh, you know, oh yeah, that little gap was driving me nuts. Anywho, uh, yeah, she uh, she actually was pretty used to me being home, like some of you may know if you're new or you're not new to the channel. I was a housewife for a while. I'm no longer a housewife. I uh, have a job, was a sort of like the rest of us. <laughs> I love this little dog door. Anywho, um, so I have a job now, sort of, like I said, like the rest of us, it's all up and up and, but there it is. There's that beautiful dog bath that started all this. Oh, it's perfect. We all need it. It's lovely. I'm so glad that they made it. It's, it's incredible. Anywho, um, so yeah, uh, so she, for like the last three years has had mom home to feed her snacks constantly. And, uh. Yeah, it, uh, that's fun. So here is when I actually realized I don't have everything I need because I put in the couch. And I was like, hey, they don't have an end table or a uh, coffee table. Oh, crap. Yep. So uh, I jumped out of the game and went to see if they had any more, which they didn't. Um, or they had a few more things, but there's a lot of like dog centric stuff, which I'm here for. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm so glad that that's a thing. Um, but there wasn't really anything else. Um, I can do a whole video of showcasing their CC if I get permission from them and that's something that you guys would be interested in. Um, but you can just go on the Sims resource and look through their stuff too. Ugh, I was trying to make that work. It just, it looks cute right there, but it doesn't look cute with the rest of the kitchen. Anywho. Um, yeah, so fun times, guys. This one's a little bit longer. I think the exterior build I was able to get down to like five minutes, which is great. Um, but it, so I got the first video that I put out this week done very quickly. I got the second one done very quickly. This one has taken me, I started working on it like Tuesday, I think, and it is now Thursday. I'm going to put it out on Friday for you guys to see once I get all the editing and sound mixing and stuff done. Um, I think why it took me so long is in the middle of, um, uh, doing all of this, my unmonetized channel got two copyright notices. So first of all, the first one you guys would have seen if you watched the Monday video, um, I did have like a little tiny clip from Frozen in there of the like, it, for the first time in Forever song. I thought it was hilarious. I've seen lots of other channels use it. Uh, turns out that Disney is just like, ha, ha, ha. if you get any monetization from this, it's ours now because you use 10 seconds of a clip. Um, so that's fun. That one I get, I, I, and I like, I tried to mix the voice once I noticed it and completely redo the video so that it was within the range where it's okay. And uh, they were still like, nope, that didn't work. So I had to take the sound out completely. Um, the second one, I have been a member of Epidemic Sound for three-ish years. And when I went back to work, I was like, uh, I'm not really uh, producing that many videos anymore. Let's not keep paying for something that isn't making me money and it's really expensive 
and whenever I first signed up, their terms and conditions said that after you um, discontinue your membership, you still have the license to use the songs that you've downloaded. However, um, their terms, I guess, have changed in the last three years, and now if you use one of their songs after the period that they have it on their record, that you um, that you've been doing uh, or using their licensing service, they get to do the same thing that Disney did and uh, take your revenue. Now, I don't get any income from this. I don't. So it doesn't bother me all that much. But at the same rate, like it's kind of, like I was telling my husband about it. He's like, that's really that's sketchy and really rude. Like if you're how do you how do you take somebody's income away from them after they've paid you for three years a hundred and something dollars a month like or well it wasn't a hundred and something dollars a month it was like a hundred and something dollars a year but still like I make no money off my videos and that's why I discontinued the service because I wasn't making any money and I'm not really making that many videos so why am I gonna pay that yearly uh, an expense that I can use for other things especially now during everything that's going on and of course they're like oh you know YouTube says it's not a copyright strike so it's not gonna affect me like my channel's not gonna get deleted but it was just two right in a row and it made me very frustrated and I lost a lot of motivation to continue making this video I have songs on here that I can use because I still have my Filmora account but it, it just like it, it doesn't sit well with you when you've spent all that money on the licensing and you know that the artists aren't actually getting any money like monthly or anything like that from the company the company purchased the rights to their song in a one-time payment and then it, it just I don't know it it bothers me so but you know people are constantly talking about how much they're frustrated with YouTube and different things so of course I should be too. Oh, so these I love, um, but I placed the windows, you know, along with the with the floor plan that I had, um, and that right, it just, you can see that it is clearly hanging on the window right there, and I took a screenshot of it because apparently I ignored it whenever I was placing it and just kept going. Um, so that's, that's, you know, clearly I pay attention to things. <laughs> anyways um, yeah I, so it took what the moral of the story of all that complaining about them taking the uh, monetization away from someone who doesn't get monetized by the way I don't like if, if I'm not if no one's watching my videos really like uh, in the grand scheme of things like I don't have Markiplier or uh, even Deligracy levels of views ever like on my best video Deligracy probably still gets more views in an hour than I have on in on a video that's like three years old um, but <laughs> it's just one of those things where it's like you just get so frustrated and annoyed and I like I'd kind of back to like I've just been so busy that I've kind of backed away I'm like oh that was a fun hobby whenever I didn't have anything else to do but okay Ugh, the stupid color didn't want to be the same I don't know if it's my lighting engine or if it's like a glitch with Peacemaker CC, I don't want to ever say that because, you know, he's the god of CC and I thank him every day for his beautiful content that he releases for us because he makes that for himself. He doesn't actually, like, he's not doing that for us, okay? He's doing that for himself. So it's, it's lovely that we get that he's sharing all of this beautiful content that he's spent hours and hours and hours making so that he could add to his game. Um, so how about I like pay attention to the build for a second and tell you what I'm thinking about. So of course, there's the bunk room. There's two masters, I think, on this technically. This one could be considered a third. Um, but I was trying to make this like grandma and grandpa's room when they came to visit the house. Or like if grandma and grandpa went with you to the beach because this is a beach house sort of thing. So my grandparents... As long as I've known them, they've like the one set has separate bedrooms, the other set had twin beds. Um, it's a reoccurring theme in like some of the 1950s shows that I watch or stuff based off the 50s and 60s, like The Marvelous Miss Basil. So, that like the parents who are grandparents at that point have twin beds, you know, they don't sleep together. Wink, wink, they, they push the get the beds together whenever it's wink, wink time, anyways. <laughs> sorry, um. Yeah, so I just want it to be kind of calming and cute, but also have the ability to throw twin beds in there, so, you know. Anyways, we are at the final master here. <coughs> Sorry, so, uh, choked on spit. 
And I wanted this one to be really tranquil and pretty and kind of like beachy and airy. Um, I did a lot of like trying to think of this place as a vacation rental. So there's a lot of things where, you know, the walls are white so it would be easy to repaint. But we put the cool, like, uh, sort of beachy, sort of trendy tile from RS or RVSN in uh, a lot of the spaces so that, you know, it catches your attention for that vacation rental. But in this room, I try to think of it as like the owner's room. The actual owner would of the house would come here and this is the room that they'd stay in. And they would just be comfortable and they'd have the best view and they have their own kind. It's, it's you know, the top or it's the main floor patio that comes off of this bedroom. But like they have basically their own patio there. I don't know why that mirror is fighting me. So I made this one just, just a little bit more special, I think, this particular room. Um, I tried to add like a cute little like, they they put, the wife would have put her makeup out on there and that's where she puts her makeup on, but it didn't actually work that well. So I just put like a jewelry box on there at the end of it. So it's kind of like the, you know, when the owner comes, that's what they bring their jewelry in. And um, I think I ended up putting the makeup in the bathroom, which makes more sense, you know, like, if you're gonna do your makeup, you want it to be in a bright, like naturally lit room, not in this little artificially lit closet. Anywho, um, whenever I was doing the wallpaper and stuff, I totally forgot about the fact that I put a separate toilet in there and I was like, why do I have a uh, another closet in here? Why am I doing that? Oh my gosh, uh, duh, dum dum. You, you put that there so that the stinker room could be the stinker room, duh. That, that's all I really want in life. Like. I have a lovely house, I have a happy life and marriage and all the things, but the only thing that I wish I had in my house differently is that the toilet was not in the same room as the bathtub and the shower. Like, I make I make my husband go in the guest bathroom when he's gonna, you know, do what you do. Um, because it's just so, like, my the bathroom, I think of like this relaxing space to get ready. And clearly, because I'm putting all the makeup and stuff in there, like, I don't want my makeup brushes to start smelling like doo-doo. So it makes me sad that, you know, our bathroom isn't closed off. Now, that's, you know, the what a complaint to have, right? Like, I have more than one bathroom so I can send my husband away to do his business in the other room. Oh, how hard my life must be. Anyways, but, you know, these, these are just the things, you know, when you... When everything else is so golden, why wouldn't you complain about that? Um, but we're actually getting to the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I have enjoyed doing the voiceover, um, which is great. That's, that's my favorite part of all of this, is just like pretending like I'm talking to people. I, you know, I feel like I'm actually talking to you guys, but um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys have fun um, watching the video, listening to me babble like a clucking chicken. And, um, you know, enjoy the photo of my cat. She's adorable. I also have two dogs, but they're being jerks today. So you, no pictures of them because they don't get rewarded for destroying my freaking thermometer outside. <sighs> I love them. I really do. They're wonderful. Um, just like you guys are all wonderful. And I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you guys listening to me complain. There are screenshots because I'm still terrible at flyaways. So thanks for watching. Bye.